We are back with a closer look at a sport that is soaring in popularity lately, indoor bike racing called Supercross that features steep jumps and other big obstacles. Yeah, you got to be a little nuts to do this, I'd say. <laughs> Last week, we decided who better to try it out than Joe Fryer, and he got a personal lesson from one of the best in the sport. Supercross riders, the sandbox was simply a starter kit. Look at these treacherous conditions. This grown-up playground has extreme jumps. He's loving it. And wickedly sharp turns. Oh! All atop heaping piles of dirt. Shay Sexton gets the win. A lot of folks don't like dirt. You like dirt? We love dirt. We absolutely love dirt. I mean, we have this funny saying that we're dirty-faced kids. For Ken Roxon, kid is a fitting description. He first rode a dirt bike when he was two and a half. I've raced dirt bikes pretty much 95% of my life. So was there ever any doubt that this is what you'd be doing as an adult? My parents and, and myself, of course, we put our head towards becoming one of the best in the world pretty early on, actually, and we just started chasing our dreams. Great one from Kickstart Kenny. Today, he turns 29 and is one of the best in the world, hitting Supercross pay dirt. I'm very lucky to be able to do what I love and uh, call that my job as well. Supercross is different from motocross, which takes place on longer outdoor courses, while Supercross tracks are shorter, built inside arenas. Last weekend's event was at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. Crews covered the football field where the Jets and Giants play with sheets of plywood before hauling in about 500 truckloads of dirt, sculpting stupefying obstacles that can launch riders 35 feet into the air. Oh! No! It can be dangerous. In 2017, after a crash, Roxon nearly lost his left arm, but was determined to race again. I mean, who doesn't like a good comeback story as well, right? With that in mind. It fit like a glove. I decided to suit up and give it a shot. First, a lesson from Roxon. Right side is your throttle. You have your front brake right here on your hand. As you release this, give it a little bit of throttle. Perfect. Great. Perfect. Good job. After a brief ride, it was time for the main event. Releasing the throttle. Riding in a straight line without stalling or falling. I'm almost there. Awesome. Right. And you even went through some ruts right there. That was basically the equivalent of a jump, right? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> From beginning to end, it was just 22 seconds. Yet I'll always cherish that brief chance to flirt with the dirt. For today, Joe Fryer, NBC News, East Rutherford, New Jersey. Way to go, Joe. I think he was going about five miles an hour there. I was going to say, the, Joe is not here today, but not because of that. He's not in traction or anything. He just took this Saturday off. <laughs> To be clear, this is this is in full speed. This video, this is not slow mo. This is Joe. <laughs> right, that part racing. of the video is him <laughs> racing. Exactly. I'm very impressed by him, though. Yeah. For getting on the bike, good for him. I would have been all bundled up with toilet paper rolls all around me there. <laughs> yeah. Supercross, by the way, runs from January to May each year with 17 rounds or races, <laughs> one each week. And you can see round 15 in Nashville later today on NBC and Peacock. The coverage begins at 3 p.m. Eastern. We're back right after this. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.